Ladies and gentlemen, I have found something totally incredible. And I'm not talking about my teeny tiny little sack that, funny enough, has a party popper in it. So, uh, hey, continuing testicle jokes about it going off in people's faces uh, kind of rings true. And now that I've completed the humor side of the video, yeah, that was humor. Let's focus on the serious thing, and that is that two changes that I've seen which I really like that Kabam have done. Yeah, I know. that Again, we're not doing the humor side of the things. These are genuine changes that are actually good. So let's begin with the pause function. Now, one thing I've been doing Act 5 because I've been grinding out a lot of it is that I've just not been checking fight to fight and I really can't be bothered. I'm like, hey, we're going from this fight to the next fight to the next fight and uh, not, I've not been checking the nodes at all. So I've just been going like, hey, well, I'll just hit the fight button like I did there. And I'm like, oh, I don't know what the nodes are. Oh, I'm just going to get hit. Oh, this is silly. They're reacting in a weird way. But if I was to hit the pause Pause button as I did here. You will see all these lovely active buffs that are currently, well, active on this particular enemy, which is incredibly handy to kind of know, right, well, they've got this, this explains this, because some players do kind of experience this like, oh, I'm not sure about this. What, are, what buffs have they got? Oh, I didn't really concentrate going into it. So if you're one of those rush people that just rush in, then you're going to get a little bit more information by hitting the pause button. Now, obviously, you're not able to mid-fight go, hey, oh, I just brought in the wrong champion. That's not going to be immune to this. Oh, fiddle dee you know, you're not going to be able to change that. But it does give that level of instruction and information to make you think, right, I need to change how I battle. So, for example, uh, the champion at the moment is unblockable based on rage. And I only kind of know this by going, oh, hang on a second. I didn't focus on what buffs they get. Oh, they get rage. So now that they've built up enough fury, uh, attacks or fury buffs even they then go unblockable so oh for really D, this isn't good but at the same time i can pause and go hey on what is this okay they're unblockable and it's something that i can't change so it allows you to then think change the way you're fighting but also you've paused so you're ready to kind of kick butt the second feature that has been added is this little button here this is pretty cool this tick box allows you to enable smart select and smart select is for basics and the class specific for this champion. So we're dealing with void at the moment. And as you can see, there is I can get up to level 4 by the basics, which are above. So get up to level 4 by that means. But as you can see, by clicking it and unclicking it, it doesn't select all the other classes. In my opinion, I, lo I love the fact they've done this. But I would have preferred something like a, a select all and to some players, they may be like, oh, yeah, well, you know, you don't need to select all. But it means that it's a lot easier because essentially what I'm doing now is I'm having to select them all like this. Select, 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 in order to then power up and get that level up on this champion. But essentially, when I get to this section, when I've got a load of science ISO, I can just go, boom, click the button. And it just goes, all ready to go. I click the button. And then, boom, hitting up the level up. It's got a very smart economic feature. And ignore the problems of connecting. This is just a thing with Kabam at the moment. But anyway, whatever. But in all seriousness, so how the economic feature works is if I click Enable Smart Select, it won't select anything because it feels that it, what it's going to do is propel me too far over if I do the kind of click there. As you can see, technically, I'd use more ISO than I can level up if you get my drift. So that's that's a smart feature there. However, though, I don't care about that. I'm flush with ISO, so I'm like, I'm going to spin my ass, though. The final thing to say is I really commend Kabam for making these alterations. I really wish a lot of this would have been done in year two or even year three. Like, we're, we're coming up to four years of the game, and these level of improvements, I would have felt could have been in there a lot, you know, very early on into the game, just for convenience for players. They have been talking from time to time about things like he the help all button in uh, collecting loyalty in the alliance section. And I have heard, again, really, I don't know if this is rumor, that the way that it would work with the servers, it would bombard and would be very ineffective for the game. Either way, that does kind of point to a fact that if you're putting stuff in the game, it needs to be altered in the future. And maybe there could be an easy, easier process with that. I, I don't know. I don't have the game engine in hand. I don't know that aspect. So it would be cool maybe to see that in a Marvel Contest of Champions 2. Uh, but that's wishful thinking. Either way, what do you think in the comments section of improvements, micro improvements to the game to make it a little bit more time efficient for you as players? Be interesting to hear back about that. And maybe we can ship some of those ideas to the developer. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. What are your thoughts as well on these two new features? 
I've been Rich the Man. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe for Marvel Contest of Champions-based content. And as always, I shall catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye for now.